So now that we have all our layers, we're ready to open up that file in Photoshop and use the timeline panel to create our animation. So I'm going to go to File to the drop down menu and click Open. Go to my desktop and there I see it, Bike Girl PSD. I'll open that up. And now as you can see here in the Layers panel, I have all of those layers labeled and they're all maintained after the export. So now I'm going to open up the Timeline panel and you're going to find that under Window. Scroll down to Timeline, it's near the bottom. And that pops open the bottom bar um, underneath the image window. And here's where we're going to build our timeline animation. So we have a choice here. We have to click in the center and select either video timeline or create frame animation. Since we're going to do one frame at a time and show and hide layers to create the illusion of motion, we're going to use create frame animation. And that will populate the first frame of the timeline. So now we're going to start to add frames to our animation. And what we'll do here to create that illusion of motion is show and hide different layers. Since we drew different hair layers, for instance, whoops, there we go. You'll see that when we show and hide those layers, we're going to get the illusion of motion. And I noticed here um, that when I exported the file from Procreate, I have both of the wheel layers showing. So I'm just gonna start by hiding one of those wheel layers and just show wheels one for frame number one. So we have our first frame created and now we're gonna add a second frame, which is really just a duplicate of the frame before it. So now we have two identical frames. We see no motion. So let's start to add some motion by hiding and showing things. We will hide hair number one and show hair number two. And we'll hide ice cream one and we'll show ice cream two. And now we'll use wheels two and hide wheels one. Oops, and we can see here that we didn't have the opacity adjusted on wheels two. So we'll change the opacity right here at the top of the layers box to 100%. And now we'll make sure that when you go between the two, you can start to see a little bit of motion. So let's add another frame. On the third frame, we're gonna show wheels number one again. Now we're gonna move to ice cream number three. We're gonna do hair number three. And that's great. Now you really start to see some motion happening. So now we have three distinct frames. And let's go to the this menu here that says once and we'll change it to forever. That'll allow this loop to play infinitely so we can watch it and critique it. So I'm gonna start at one and I'm gonna hit the space bar on my keyboard and that's gonna play the video. And that looks a little weird, right? It's a little too fast and choppy and we're definitely gonna to wanna to adjust the speed of the frames. So let's do that first. So if we select all of the frames at once by holding the shift key down and then clicking on the last frame, now we can see all the frames are selected. Now you go to this drop down menu where it says zero seconds and adjust here. I personally like to do things for 0.15 seconds to start and that's an other custom time. So you just enter that in, hit OK, and now let's try that playback again. Okay, the speed is looking all right, but as you can see, there's a little bit of a pause with the wheels. And the reason we're seeing that pause is because if I stop the video and I look at frame number one and go to my layers panel, I see that we have wheels one showing on frame number one, and we have wheels one showing on frame number three. So we're seeing that twice in a row, which makes it too long. We need to show wheels number two as the last frame in our loop. So the easiest thing to do here would be to duplicate the second frame and take us back to that middle step of our animation. So I'm gonna hold the option button down and drag frame number two to the end. That'll create a duplicate of that middle action, which will step us right back down to our original starting point. Now let's try playing the animation. 
It's much more fluid. I think we could make it go just a touch faster though. So let's try adjusting the duration of the frames again. So I'll click the drop down menu and let's try 0.1 seconds this time. It's just a little bit faster. I like that. It's a little bit more energetic. So now that we have our animation pretty much set, I like to just pull away, zoom out a little bit, and then play the animation to make sure that all of my motion is still noticeable. So if somebody's looking at it on a small screen size, they can still see that motion without it being too minimal or on the contrary, it being too exaggerated. And I think here, looking at it small, you can really see the motion and it's not too exaggerated. And I think it's just right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest videos.